But hey guys, this is Fastlane Productions. I'm going to show you the basics of Moolab. And before I do that, I want to talk about uh, one issue that a lot of people seem to have, and that is when they use it, there's no audio. And there are two reasons for that. One is the ACO, ACO for all driver, and I'll talk about that in a second. And uh, the second reason is, is uh, you can't have any other programs on that use audio and that has to do with the driver because you can only have one audio driver on at a time and most other drivers use the standard driver that's in your computer so um, yeah back to ACO for all driver it's a small download it's just a little program that makes Moolab work with your computer and your speakers so I'll have the link in the description you can download that and install it and then I'll show you here in a second how to make ACO for all work with this program okay I'll show you how to uh, get the ACO for all driver in okay you uh, click you click edit up here and then you go to audio setup and then click click yes um, the audio driver type should be ACO and then the audio driver name should be ACO for all version 2 v2 of course uh, alright so then uh, you know if you have all the other programs that have audio off uh, the sound should work and if you already know how to write music then then you there's no point in watching this but if you do want to figure out how to write music with this that's what I'll show you and okay before you start writing any music you want to choose some instruments and uh, just to let you know for the free version of Moolab you can only have four instruments and that's, that's what these four things are the four free channels um, I think I'm not sure how much it costs to upgrade but okay go up here since MU tools and VS you know Moo tools and VSTs you can get your instruments in here and then in the ROM uh, that's where I pick most of my stuff. You can pick really anything from here. Doesn't matter. Just, just uh, I don't know. Pick anything. I'll just pick Alien Attack Pad. Okay, and then you can mess around with these knobs that some of the instruments have, and you can uh, do whatever you want with that. Uh, they just affect the sound. You can mess around with them. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you what each one of them did specifically. Alright, and then to start writing the music, the easiest thing to do is over the channel that that instrument is on, which is on the top channel right now, uh, hit control and then uh, left click and drag that left click to as long as you want the uh, segment to be. And then this thing comes out, says sequence, you click new or open, click new. Um, and before I get into any more detail, up here, right here, that's your beats per minute. Uh, you can right click on that and then uh, edit the tempo, but I just leave it at 120. Okay, now if you want to write any music in the sequence, just double click on it, and you come in here. For this keyboard, it's it's confusing at first, but let's say you've got your you, we've got D right here. Uh, it's gonna be D all the way along. Now as time as time as a as it goes from left to right, that's over the m amount of time up and down are the different notes. Left and right is time, up and down are notes. That's, that's an easy way to think of it. And you can zoom in and out of this graph, and you can zoom in and out of these keys using the scroll wheel. That's assuming you have uh, a PC and not one of those Mac mice that doesn't have a wheel. Okay, and then once you know you've done whatever you want in here, let's just make some random notes. Um, I'm just I'm not really doing anything serious here. I'm just Okay, and then to exit out of the segment, click the close up here. It won't delete it. It just it just exits you back out. Okay, and then you see, you can see your notes that have been written there, and then you can make any amount of segments you want in any of the channels. I also have a, a few tips you can use. If you want to copy a sequence, you can press Control C over it, or, or sorry, click on it first, and then you can click Control C and then click uh, control V so that makes another sequence and then you can you know pull that down to any other instruments so let's say you've got a different instrument in rack 3 it'll play that sequence in that instrument okay and then let's say you want uh, the, a sequence to repeat the easiest thing to do is to click on the end and then just drag it out okay if you I don't know if you can see but there's a really thin line here that's where the end of the loop is so it just keeps looping the same thing over and over now if you want to make a sequence longer but you don't want it to loop uh, double click on the sequence go into it alright go go to the end there's this green 
half circle arrow here, right click on that, and then uh, click remove and uh, remove loop and locator. Okay, and then so that loop will disappear, and as you can see, it stopped. It stopped uh, looping. And uh, if you do want it to loop, but you don't want it to loop there, you can always um, uh, set loop end, and you can you can move that around anywhere. I mean, you can move it here and just cancel out what's right here, and you can just have those two notes looping over and over. So that's that's uh, what you can do with loops, and then. Uh, uh, from there, I, I, I guess you can figure out how to write the music. And some other tips I can show you, or just tell you a little bit about the program. Down here, the, there's the, there are these uh, knobs, not knobs, but whatever, switches. These are these are the volume for each instrument, okay? And that's that's how you use those. You, and uh, to add instruments to the other channels, you do the same thing that I showed you with the first channel. Uh, so essentially, that's how you make the music. Now, if and that's that's really all I do with it. Now, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll answer them. Now, if you want to save the music as an actual file that that you know you can upload and listen to in a music player, not just a uh, uh, not just a file to edit with, uh, go to Mix Down Audio. Click on that. Okay, and uh, mix only selected parts. Well, if you want to, yes. If you want, uh, if you don't want to. No, um, and for me that'd be no. Uh, then click, uh, I think it's new, no, audio file, and then click on the, where it says audio file on the right of that, click on that open box, click C, you know, the C drive, and then users, whatever your username is, let's just say I want to save it to my desktop. Okay, and then click new file, and then let's just call it uh, test song for YouTube. Just call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. All right, and then uh, it's gonna save as a WMA, I think, and it it's actually saves in pretty high quality. Okay, and now let's save it. Rendering, rendering. Sorry. Okay, now it should be on my desktop. Uh, I'll sh <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Uh, I'll have to switch the voice recording for that. So as you could tell, that turned out nice and pretty. Uh, I hope this tutorial uh, helped you out. But of course, if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment, and I'll I'll answer whatever question you have. I can probably even get back to you the day you put it down there. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.